We're with Samantha Kinghorn, who is the 4J Studios Para Athlete of the Year. Congratulations. How does that feel? Thank you so much. It's um, it's a strange feeling. Obviously, like I've won awards before, but every time you do win an award, it's quite like a. I think I, you almost forget that people are watching, and um, you almost just kind of do it for you, and then you step back, and when you win awards, you're like, oh gosh, people are watching, and people are also like pleased for how I'm doing, and it's it's a really nice feeling. That's lovely. And you've been competing at quite a high level for quite a long time. There's probably not many years go by that you don't win a medal, but even by your standards, this year has been exceptional in terms of international medals. You've had uh, gold and championship best in 100 metres at the uh, World Champs, followed by three further silvers in the 800, 400 and in the Universal Relay. Did you know you had that in you going into the championships? You know, I'd worked really, really hard, but I, um, no, I I didn't know I had that in me. Um, Winning that gold in 100 metres was um, just as much of a shock to me as anyone else. And um, I think because I was just quite, I was quite calm, I knew what I needed to do. I'd practised all year and yeah, I just done what I do every day and it was very, very natural. And yeah, it was one of those races where I look back and it was like every I don't know it was, it was it was a nice race to watch because I executed every section of the race really well and that's obviously you know how I won it and um, but it, it doesn't often happen like that in races even though you practice all the time so it was just one of those races that I, I managed to execute perfectly and I think that having that pressure on me um yeah I was able to go out and win it which was amazing wonderful and of course you were team captain uh in Paris as well how did that affect the experience was that did that make it uh even more enjoyable yeah, it's weird, you know, because I remember when I was first on the team, the team captains were always like the seniors of like the team. And being asked to be team captain, I was like, does that mean, does that mean I'm old now? <laughs> um, but it's, you know, it's an honour and I have been doing it for quite a long time, although I feel like I'm still really new to it and I still feel like I've got so much to learn. I have been to quite a few games and I have got quite a lot of experience. So it's nice being able to share that with like the younger athletes on the team and and try and share my experiences. Um, yeah, which is it's nice and it's nice to be, thought that people look up to me um so yeah it was an honor to be team captain and I think it's obvious looking at at your performances and and a lot of other performances in Paris that sort of elite para sport in Scotland is in a good place right now do you also get satisfaction from seeing the full range down to the grassroots we're seeing more and more clubs setting up disability sport sections um does that give you some satisfaction knowing that's happening right across the sport yeah, I love that. You know, um, every now and again on like Instagram or something, I'll be sent a picture of um, like a young kid in in Scotland trying wheelchair racing for the first time or trying any athletics for the first time. And um, I think it's amazing. I was so lucky that um, I was given the opportunity quite early on in my career, but so many kids aren't given that opportunity. And, um, you know, every kid should have the opportunity to play sports, any sport, especially children with disabilities, um, because sometimes it's harder to socialise. So you know, it's just such a great thing. And I love being able to watch the kids up and coming. And even in my sport, watching um, the younger athletes coming up in the sport and, and just enjoying it. That's what I love more than anything. Um, just enjoying it and seeing them now traveling down to down to England to race and stuff and seeing them there and being like, and they're so excited to race against me. And I love that. Um, and I want them to beat me one day. You know, I want them to push on the sport, make it great. Fantastic. And uh, looking ahead to next year, obviously the Paralympics are in Paris with the Olympics and you've had a bit of a preview. You guys have competed in Paris this summer. Do you think it's going to be a good host city? Are you looking forward to next summer? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it was nice yeah, to be able to like almost test the travel and see how you're going to feel uh, this year, which was quite nice. Um, but I'm super excited. I think because Tokyo was so difficult for, for athletes and um, not having anyone there, not having your friends and family. And I won my first Paralympic medal in front of nobody. And that was extremely difficult. And um, I'm hoping this time I might be able to win another Paralympic medal and I'll have my friends and family and hopefully a full stadium there. And um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a weird feeling racing in front of people again this year. Obviously, we got to do it in Birmingham, which was amazing. Um, but yeah, to do it this year and, and to win a medal in front of my friends and family again was uh, a lovely feeling and I really want to replicate that again next year so um yeah I just hope that people go out and buy tickets and it's not too far away from home so hopefully we'll have a lot of British supporters so I'm really looking forward to it great well we will look forward to watching you perform next summer and congratulations again thank you thank you